happen. On October 19th, the Carlsbad Company successfully launched a communication satellite into Earth orbit. Three, two, one, ignition, start, and we have liftoff. Here to discuss the launch and how the satellite will increase Internet access for millions is Jerry Goodwin. Uh, Jerry is a Vice President of Network Systems Group at Viasat. Jerry, thanks for coming in. Thank you, George, for having me. For those that don't know, give me a little history, a little background of the company. All right, well, the company started in 1986, so uh, in, in Carlsbad, and we've been there for since then. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started out kind of as a defense-oriented company, uh, but over the years, we got more and more involved in satellite and, 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 and uh, satellite communications, moved into co the commercial markets. And so right now, we're about a 50-50 split between okay. government and commercial business. And I'd say over the last decade, we've been, you know, dreaming and thinking about how to do this uh, satellite communications thing and I think you know one of the things is we did all this ground equipment and we kept you know working on how do you make it more and more efficient sure and realized at some point you know the problems in space mm -hmm. it's not on the ground anymore mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so uh, f about four years ago we got this project started yeah. and it's really an attempt to to kind of change the way people think about satellite and, and and to provide more capacity for lower cost to to a lot more people all right let's talk a little bit about the launch itself explain where it took place and the the dynamics of what happened all right so it was in Kazakhstan and of course, they launched in the middle of the night there. Mm -hmm. um, here in San, in, <laughs> in San Diego, it was at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we got to watch it uh, through a video feed. Sure. We had several executives that were there uh, with the team. Uh, you know, we had several partners uh, involved. And so we, that whole team was there in Kazakhstan mm -hmm. as the satellite took off. And uh, they gave you play-by-play, -play, you know, <laughs> hey, the first stage separates, now the second stage is separating. Yeah. Um, you could only see it for, you know, Short maybe period a of few time. minutes. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. after that, it was kind of, uh, okay, here's what's happening now, <laughs> kinds of things. The <laughs> sensors tell this us this yeah, is what's right. happening. Yeah, right. yeah so, things like that. All right. Uh, the launch was great, but it, what was put into space that was the, the load on this, this launch is what really is the exciting yes, part of it, right? Yes, that, that is the, the big uh, change. So the satellite has more capacity than all the data satellites over the United States combined. Wow. So if you think about it, um, the change really is the cost of capital of putting a certain amount of bandwidth in space. And mm -hmm. so think of all those other satellites and how much they might have cost altogether to put up and, and how much bandwidth they're providing. Good point, yeah. And then this one satellite for the cost of a single launch, and, and it's got more capacity than all of those. So the, co the capital cost of capacity, if you will, has been brought down significantly. Let's explain the way it, it, it's situated in space, because it's in a fixed orbit over right. a particular part of the of the world, right? Right. So so it has an orbital slot and and there's a there's a, a international body, the ITU that that governs okay. uh, you know the rules for where you can be and mm -hmm. where you can transmit and, mm -hmm. and all that. And so we have a spot that uh, is parked up over the United States and it is at an elevation and a speed uh, as it gets into its final orbit, right. that it will be in one place. So when you have an antenna on your house, it gets pointed and it, the antenna gotcha. points at the satellite, the satellite stays there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who are you going to be serving with this new system? Okay, so the, the satellite was designed to support uh, Internet access over, over satellite. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we have uh, an existing business that's it's called Wild Blue. It's kind of our retail channel, if you will, okay. to, to the customer. And so this bandwidth augments their offering. And it, the bandwidth is positioned over areas where Wild Blue, uh, their previous satellites, the, the capacity was full already. Gotcha. Gotcha. So it, it adds a tremendous amount of capacity in those uh, locations. You're also providing Wi-Fi service through this satellite to some airlines, right? Yeah, that's a really exciting thing. It is. Uh, we, we have a, a, a deal with JetBlue, and uh, we're going to be providing, uh, at, towards the end of next year, uh, Internet access to the, the aircraft seat. Mm -hmm. and, and our idea, and, and what JetBlue really wanted, was really good service. And so the high capacity of the satellite allows us to offer better service than has been offered to airline passengers in the past. This is a, this has been a, I've been following the the preparation uh, for this launch and and the the things that have been happening over the last couple of years. 
uh, is this, this is not the last launch, probably for Viaset, right? No, yeah. In fact, we have this notion that, that you launch higher and higher capacity satellites um, over time. And you kind of think of the way that uh, back uh, years ago where, say, memory was really expensive or sure. processing power was mm -hmm. expensive. And then mm -hmm. over time, memory became cheap, processing power became cheap. All these devices like smartphones came into existence and things like that. Well, this is kind of the same thing, but in the bandwidth realm. You know, bandwidth was expensive. Now we're putting up lower cost bandwidth with this higher capacity satellites. We hope to put up even lower cost bandwidth sure. with higher capacity satellites. Sure. And over time, it had changed the economics in the marketplace in ways we probably don't even understand at this point. Uh, it's exciting stuff. It really is. And congratulations to everybody at Viasat. I know this is, was a big uh, a me media event, social event for everybody at the company, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Jerry, thanks for coming in. Enjoy the conversation.